everyone welcome to today's japan coronavirus update it is march 22nd 2020 um we have now 1067 infected and 18,963 people have been tested so there is not a huge difference in the amount of people that they have tested from yesterday so here i go saying that yes um testing is still not being adequate and it seems like there is a growing concern about within the population about it so I found a couple articles from Japan Times and they were being rightfully critical and it puts all my assertions in words that are explained very well. So this article is titled, Why Experts Sound Alarm Over Japan's Coronavirus Testing. Despite Japan's efforts to carry out more testing for the new coronavirus, medical experts have cast doubt on whether the country can provide adequate testing for citizens and promote effective policies to contain the outbreak. So yeah, that's kind of like what I've been saying since day one. But anyways, this claim is supported by the fact that others have warned that many private companies and government bodies in Japan have remained reluctant to take aggressive measures to combat the spread of the pneumonia-causing virus until an employee is found to be infected. Yeah, I agree once again because the point is to mitigate the spread of the virus and prevent it from being contracted by many people as possible. I also think with Japan's bureaucratic issues, um, the contact tracing that I would assume to happen is probably going to get very messy with increasing cases. So why not take the measures in place so people don't get infected in the first place? Um, now over here it says results are likely to take up to two weeks and that the number of infected patients may increase during that period. Um, so could anyone confirm if the test results being confirmed in Japan actually take two weeks to confirm? Because in that case, the data that, the, that we're getting out of Japan is basically two weeks behind. And um, that is kind of like not okay at this point because several countries um, are coming out and reporting that they're able to get test results out within like a day or even a couple hours. So I really surely hope that that's not the case here in Japan. Next article is Japan was expecting a coronavirus explosion and where is it? Um, my answer is it's everywhere. It's okay to be skept skeptical about the data. Um, it's okay to challenge stuff like this. That's how science works. Um, unlike China's draconian isolation measures, the mass quarantine in much of Europe and big US cities ordering people to shelter in place, Japan has imposed no lockdown. While there have been disruptions caused by school closures, life continues as normal for much of the population. Tokyo rush hour trains are still packed and restaurants remain open. Yes, I can confirm that because I went to the mall today because I just absolutely needed Panda Express. I'm sorry, social isolation or whatever. I broke that rule today. Um, that place was packed and um, traffic is very slow as normal. Uh, but this is what I've been saying. You see all these countries experiencing exponential growth with even lockdowns being put in place and like even more advanced precautions being put in place but japan never even really took that so i don't understand it's a good uh criticism of japan's government the government contends it has been aggressive in identifying clusters and containing the spread which makes its overall per capita number for infections among the lowest among developed countries Critics argue that Japan has been lax in testing, perhaps looking to keep the infection numbers low as it's said to host the Olympics in Tokyo in July. Oh, look at that. That's something that I've been saying for, what, like weeks now? Um, I'm finally glad that like some reputable news source is actually coming out and like saying this to like a bigger audience because, you know, I think that's serious and I think the global community needs to address that to Japan. The nation's initial slow response to the virus and its handling of the Diamond Princess cruise ship where about one in five people aboard became infected while it was quarantined in Yokohama and the decision not to initially block travel from China left the nation open to criticism. It could become home to a second Wuhan. Steps taken to contain the virus such as shutting schools and calling off large events now to look tame in comparison to what others have done. Again, yes, the Diamond Princess cruise ship was a disaster. It's a great parallel in 
which Japanese is slow moving bureaucracy is not fit to handle a situation like this um, that can very well be happening. And just because a dad is not out there to support it, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. A lot of people have been vocal about the reluctance of Japan to close their borders in China, to China. But you see, um, they have been really fast in enacting restrictions on Europe. So it's like really contradictory. I am strongly anti-China, or should I say anti-CCP before anyone calls me a racist. Um, I've been vocal about my disdain over this since day one. It just really compels me to assume Japan is making their move based on economics and not human lives. And we've seen what damage that can cause, especially in the EU. The next one is called, why is Japan still a coronavirus outlier? A uh, good question. Um, I have an answer. It's because that's a lie. One reason that Italy has been hit so badly, according to the WHO, is the age of its population. The country has the oldest average age in Europe, the second oldest in the world, and coronavirus disproportionately affects the elderly whose immune systems may not be strong enough to stave off the pneumonia virus the virus causes. Here, Japan one-ups Italy. Its population is the world's oldest and is just as vulnerable. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. It further asserts that there are surely more people out there that have the coronavirus than what they're coming out to say. And it's not like Japan has placed strict measures on its citizens to keep the disease under control. It has neither imposed the level of quarantine we saw in China to curb the outbreak, nor has it been strict with its travel restrictions. Most travelers can still visit Japan, and those from restricted countries aren't banned entirely. They're just asked to voluntarily self-isolate for 14 days. That brings me to the case I was talking about yesterday, where in my prefecture there's a fourth confirmed case in Okinawa. Now, so this is a Japanese article, but here it says that the person in their teens was asked to remain in Tokyo, where she was tested until the results came back, but she ignored their request to continue her travel back to Okinawa. Um, you really think when there's people there doing that type of stuff that like, someone's just going to li listen to the kind requests of the government to self-isolate? Because I don't think so. Uh, you see it all over the world. People are asked to quarantine or self-isolate, social distancing. People just don't do it. Um, people just don't listen. Um, I have no idea whether they're just stupid or ignorant and selfish to civic duty that they're obligated to do. But this is exactly why draconian measures are being taken place in places like the United States or in Europe. Because... I'm not a fan of authoritarianism. I don't think anyone really is, but stupid people are going to lead us to that pathway because if us people can't protect our own people, then the government has to step in. In other news, Japan is not equipped to handle the crisis, and I'm going to tell you why, because there's hypocrisy going on. Uh, NHK says that Japan has decided not to extend their school closures after spring break, but theme parks are extending their closures. Um, what does this even mean? The government is sending really confusing messages to its people by doing this. So, like, is it, it's safe enough to go to school, but it's not safe to, like, go to fucking Disneyland? I don't even know. Um, I have no idea, because, like, the government is basically expressing two different things. On one hand, they're saying, oh, it's safe to go back to school. And on the other hand, the theme parks are like, no, we're trying to, like, mitigate the spread of the virus. And so, therefore, they're extending their school closures. So... That's really confusing. That sends a confusing message to everyone else here. And um, I think the government needs to uh, do something about that because they need to be they need to be all in or not if they're going to try to do anything about the virus. And right now, this is just going in all different types of directions. And I think it's confusing. I think it's irresponsible. And it's just like a good example of why bureaucracy or heavy bureaucracy just never works. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Um, please comment any discussions you would like to engage in, uh, what you think about this. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Goodbye.